Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG on the spot color settings and replacement within Roland VersaWorks. If we open VersaWorks and navigate to the top left hand corner of the screen, underneath the edit menu, you'll find the spot color settings. Within the spot color settings, you can find all of the spot color libraries that are installed into VersaWorks. Within each of these libraries are a number of colors which will be shown on the right hand side of the screen. For instance underneath the Roland Color Systems library here we can see all of the listed colors with the spot color name and the CMYK output for that color. We also have the metallic libraries, DIC color libraries, Toyo color and Pantone colors as well. You have the ability to, cre to create new libraries, to copy libraries, and to load other libraries from files. Each of these libraries has a select box next to it in case you should wish to turn any of these off so that VersaWorks will not recognize the spot colors used in artwork. If you leave the select box ticked and any of these spot colors are used within the artwork imported into VersaWorks, VersaWorks will recognize those spot colors and make the conversions necessary. We can also choose, should you wish to, to change the settings or replace certain spot colors. We'll look at how that's possible now. Here you can see that I have imported a job called RVW Spots. This is just a file containing eight different spot colors from the Roland VersaWorks Color Systems Library. If I open up this job by going to my job settings and now navigate down to the file format tab, here we can see that VersaWorks has recognized the Roland VersaWorks spot colors. If I select the convert spot colors box, it means that these spot colors will be printed as spot colors, not as process colors. If I do not select the convert spot colors box, the colors will not come out as predicted, but will come out as process colors and therefore be susceptible to color management. Here I have the option to open up the details for these spot colors and to make any changes should I wish to. If I hit the details button, you can see that the spot color list will open up. I'm just going to expand some of these columns so that we can see a little better. Here we can see that each of the spot colors that I used have been recognized. It tells me the library name, the library output for that color, for the particular quality settings that you have chosen, and the printer output, so the CMYK value for each of these spot colors, which may vary depending on the material that you're printing onto. We also have the matching method that is used for these spot colors. Now here you have the option to replace the spot colors should you wish to. At the bottom here it says edit output color. If for instance this green at the top I wanted to change to a metallic green from the metallic library or perhaps a Pantone color or any of the other spot colors I have the option to do so. I can do this by selecting to edit the output color and use a spot color library. If I select this box, I can choose from any of the installed color libraries another color. For instance, the metallic color systems library, a similar dark green metallic. VersaWorks will then swap in this new spot color and replace the old one. Instead of using a spot color library you also have the option to change the CMYK output should you have a specific value that you wish 
to output instead of the spot color. This gives you the ability to change any artwork that you are given that contains spot colors to suit your favored spot color library. It's possible to select the convert spot colors box as a default within your queue settings so that whenever you use spot colors they will always be converted also. That's it for using spot color settings and replacement in Roland Verseworks.